Let's take a tour of the InfoPath 2010 interface, which changed significantly from previous versions, most notably by incorporating the ribbon, making it consistent with other Microsoft Office programs. As mentioned in the overview clip, InfoPath 2010 consists of two applications, Designer for creating forms and Filler for filling out forms. We begin having opened InfoPath Filler, which by default opens with the File tab selected, displaying the backstage view. We see standard file menu options on the left, recently used forms in the center, and on the right, basic information about the currently selected form, plus a button for opening it. Viewing a form in the filler, we get a look at the ribbon with its Home and Insert tabs that display options based on the fields and functionality built into the form. For instance, since the Submit option was set up for this form, we have a Submit button visible on the ribbon. Now with a form open in the filler, we'll click the File tab to return to the Backstage view. We now have additional options and information available about the open form, including printing options, and a variety of choices for saving and sending our form. Now, let's take a look at InfoPath Designer. Beginning here in the Backstage view, this time looking at a variety of form template options to help us get started. An information panel on the right has details about the selected template, and a Design Form button to use when we're ready to begin. Back on the left, click Recent, for a list of recently accessed form templates that can be opened with a single click. Here in Designer, the ribbon represents the biggest change to the interface, where InfoPath's features have been grouped for easy access onto several tabs. The tabs and their available options will change as needed based on the fields and controls we design into our forms. For instance, when we click inside our Title table, notice the new Table Tools Layout tab with options for adjusting the selected table. Click a Form Control, and we get a tab that simplifies setting the control's properties. Below the ribbon is the large workspace for designing forms, and as needed, task panes will open, docked to the right side of the workspace by default. We can undock the panes and move them if we like, and close them when they're not needed. We can just as easily reopen them, and dock them again to either the left or right side. Another interface change, as with other Microsoft Office applications, we now have a quick access toolbar that we can customize with the commands we frequently use. To round out our tour, click the File tab to return to the Backstage view. With a form open in Designer and Info selected on the left, we now have a variety of options and settings available to us that are specific to this form template. Notice now we also have a Publish category. Once our form is designed, these options make it easier than ever to publish powerful, attractive, user-friendly forms. And there you have a tour of the new InfoPath 2010 interface.